30 years of the Bristol show and we're back again to check out all that's new in hi-fi and AV. Of course, stereo speakers are always one of the biggest stars of the show and there's certainly plenty for us to get excited about this weekend. As always, a few brands used the Bristol show to launch brand new speakers and Acoustic Energy was one of them, showcasing its new AE1 active speakers. The latest in the AE1 range, they've been revamped with a brand new tweeter and cabinet design. They pack two 50 watt AB amplifiers per speaker and are entirely analog with both balanced XLR and standard RCA inputs. They're available now for £1,000. KEF is also taking an active turn with its impressive LS50 wireless music system. Inside, there are four DACs, one for each amplifier, with 200 watts of Class D amplification for each mid-bass driver and a 30 watt Class AB amp for the tweeter. It aims to have all your hi-fi needs sorted in a simple plug-and-play system, with a choice of Wi-Fi or Aptex Bluetooth alongside USB, analog or optical inputs. Plus, there's an analog out for connecting a subwoofer. It'll be available for £2,000. An exclusive to the Bristol show is Qdos's Titan 707, the smaller single-box sibling to the company's flagship Titan 808. The 707's tweeter is identical to the 808, but it has a brand new mid-bass driver that is unique to this speaker. It also has the capability to run in active mode, with high-end systems from the likes of Lin and DVLA. Prices are still TBC, but expect them to be cheaper than the 808's eye-watering £20,000 price tag. The tall, slim Lerva Clang 5 speakers got an airing at Bristol alongside the company's Build 7 OLED set. Don't let their rather lifestyle design fool you, there's a lot happening under the hood. These speakers feature five drive units in a dapper Lito arrangement. A 25mm tweeter flanked vertically by two 76mm mid-range drivers and two 76mm woofers. They're designed to work seamlessly with Lerva TVs, which can transmit audio wirelessly to them with low enough latency that there's no syncing issues. The separate sub will cost you £1,390, with the speaker pair costing £3,500. Coming out of their prototype stage are the finalised Q Acoustics Concept 500, the company's first high-end loudspeaker. Built from the ground up with new drivers and an improved design, they were originally announced at the Munich show last year. And as with all Q Acoustic products, Karl Heinz Fink has tuned them to keep a consistent family sound. They're available now for £3,600. ELAC was demoing its new dual concentric Unify FS U5 speakers, designed by Andrew Jones at ELAC's Californian Design HQ. The three-way bass reflex design is made up of a mid-range high-frequency transducer and proprietary aluminium cone drivers. The range is made up of a pair of floor standers, a pair of stand mounters and a centre channel for a choice between stereo or surround sound configurations. Prices start from £600. Spender gave us a first look at its new entry-level A-line range, which includes the A1 stand mounter and the A2 and A4 floor standers. Starting at £1,100, they share the same slim, compact proportions as the existing D7 and D9 speakers, pushing home Spender's point that you don't need big rooms to go hi-fi. This is the first time we've seen Spender products at this lower price, so we can't wait to get them into our testing rooms for a good listen. Finally, Wilson Banesh was showing off its rather colourful fifth iteration of the Act 1 Evolution P1 loudspeaker. Fresh from picking up a CES Innovation Award at the beginning of the year, these speakers use carbon fibre composites in their design to dampen any sound coloration, but also add a splash of colour thanks to a partnership with Hypetex a brand more usually connected to Formula One. As a nod, the speaker colours all have a racing themed name, including Enzo, Atori and Silverstone. They're available now for £21,500. So those were some of our favourites, but did you make it down to the Bristol show and hear any of them? We'd love to hear about your favourites below. And for more news and videos from the Bristol show, head over to whathifi.com and don't forget to hit subscribe. If you want to get in contact, you can get us on all of our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.